Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Can It Take a K26? The show where we take a variety of blasters and see if they can be upgraded using a K26 spring. As promised from last week, I will be covering two more Toy Story themed blasters, both of which I'm actually genuinely excited about. Our first contestant is this woody pistol blaster looking thing. Now it is a eight shot revolver, which all by itself is fairly impressive. It primes from the bottom. You have to pull it down and then push it back up. It doesn't return on its own. I'm tempted to see if that can be uh, changed for one. Um, and then it does actually fire before rotation. So it fires and then you complete the trigger to rotate. So hypothetically, you can fire it and not rotate the cylinder, which you don't want to do. So you do want to do a full trigger pull to rotate the cylinder with each firing. And here's my favorite part. It takes half darts. Full length darts will not fit in the mechanism, but these orange and black half darts fit absolutely perfectly. It feeds from the side here. Uh, you can rotate it independently of having to have it primed, which is lovely. You, can't you can manually rotate it, uh, but it's easier to just rotate it by hand. And it actually performs much better than I expected. It gets only about 33 feet, but I was expecting much less out of this. And I'm honestly hoping that this thing can take, at least, I doubt it will take K26, but I would love to get some kind of a spring upgrade out of this because I want this to be my primary sidearm for my Calibern for reasons. Mostly because it takes half darts. And I like that my sidearm and my primary arm take the same ammunition. And this is an eight shot revolver that takes half darts and is just nifty looking. I think it would look cool with a paint job. Um, and I, I want it to be able to get some kind of upgrade. So let's get this thing open and see if it can take K26. And if not, by golly, we will find something that it can take. Well, the first annoying thing we discover is this blaster was clearly designed to be opened on the same side as the screws are on. Is always a design flaw in my book. And so after some fiddling about, I've figured out, I think, how this thing works. So the rotation mech is fairly straightforward. It just, this goes forward and rotates the cylinder. Remarkably more like um, real revolvers than most Nerf blasters that I've seen. Um, it then also releases the plunger before it actually engages the cylinder rotation. So that's how it fires the blaster and then rotates without having any kind of misfire issues like the Maverick had, is it has completely fired before it even starts to rotate the cylinder. So that is neat. Then this little piece is the lock that keeps you from firing it while the priming handle is down, which I'm actually going to remove for two reasons. One, part of the retention system for that is cracked, and I feel that's just going to get worse. And two, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't be able to be fired when you've got this down. There doesn't seem to be any actual need, because most blasters, the priming handle is back when you fire it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and make it so that I can, just so that I don't keep running into that issue. So, we just take that part out, and that is solved. Nope, I take it back. I take it back. I need that. So without that piece, and without this pushed forward, the trigger does not engage the catch. It'll go underneath it, and you'll be able to rotate the cylinder without engaging the catch. But unless this is pushed forward, that doesn't engage. Now I could glue it in position so that it's always up, but I think instead I will leave it in place. Okay, on to the real question. Can it take a K26? Well, it unfortunately has a pitiful and anemic little plunger tube, and no. But, by hook or by crook, I'm going to improve this blaster. So, let's see what we can find in a spring this small. Alright, well unfortunately that was a no for K26 and a no for the spring upgrade that I tried, but it is at least 
still working, which had me concerned a little while. There were some bits that got a little bit cracked on the inside. This thing does not have the most robust of internals, unfortunately. Um, I may try to put something more robust in there, but there just isn't a whole lot of room, really, which is sad and tragic. But I would still like to paint this up and uh, use it as a sidearm with my Caliburn for the sheer beautiful absurdity of it, and because it takes half darts. I did end up taking out this little dart flap that hung down in front of the uh, barrel when it's firing that, as near as I can tell, served no purpose except to slow the dart down a little. So hopefully that will make, give some improvement. And, uh, yeah. So it might be a nice last ditch sidearm. We'll see. Anyway, on to the next contestant. Our final contestant for the Toy Story line is the triple-barreled ball-launching Zerg Blaster thing. And I absolutely love it. Uh, it has three barrels, each which I imagine can hold uh, about three balls. It fires the same balls as that Buzz Lightyear rifle, so unfortunately I only have five of them, so I can't do a full load of six, and I don't know of anything else that takes these. They're larger than hogwild balls, but smaller than Nerf balls. If anybody knows where I can get more of these, I would love to. Um, performance is absolutely abysmal, firing about 20 feet, which is what you would expect from one of these things. It primes from the back, rotates as you prime it, which is nice. Uh, it does have a little flip-up sight, and dials on the side that go to 11. But what I want to know is, can this thing take a K-26? So, let's find out. There was a screw hidden under the pop-up sight. Those sneaky buggers. Okay. So, fairly straightforward. Partial rotation on the... Pull, rest of the rotation on the return. Well, that settles that. All right, well, that's a no because like the Buzz Lightyear rifle, it is in fact using a uh, tension spring instead of a compression spring. Now, if you could find a heavier tension spring, you might very well be able to upgrade this thing, but I don't have any. So, uh, let's recap. All right, for those of you just tuning in or who just skipped to the end to see the results, that was a no for the Sheriff Woody revolver thing because, well, the internals just won't go for it. I might someday find a spring, and I wish I could because I want this to be better. And that was also a no for the Zerg triple barrel ball shooting thing because it takes a tension spring instead of a compression spring. Now, if you could find a better tension spring, you might have a chance. But I don't have any, but it definitely won't take a K-26. So, that's it for this week. Tune in next week when we will be covering a pair of superhero-themed blasters. Thank you for watching. Awesome.